So what you're looking at is a uh, native Arbutus wood tiki. And uh, what I was using on it was a wood dremel. And I'll give you a close-up shot of my wood dremel. This is a wood dremel. And this is the bit on it right here. And it grinds it down. If you can see that nice and close, that's what a dremel is. So I chainsaw the tiki, make this with the chainsaw, and then I fine-tune it and do more detailing with this dremel right here. And I will show you what type of tree this is actually from. So this was a piece of driftwood I found today in town along the seashore by the boat ramp in Ganges. So very hard wood. And I'm going to finish detailing it a little bit more. But first I'm going to show you what an Arbutus tree looks like. Um, they are a native broadleaf evergreen tree to our island. And this is the only area in Canada where these trees grow along our southwest coast on the islands. And they grow in rock, rocky soil. And they're a very beautiful subtropical looking tree. There's one there, right up over top of me. Big one. They have sort of rubbery green leaves on them and bark that peels to smooth. And uh, there's another one here that might have peeled some of the bark. Yeah, this one's got some smooth bark on it here. There's another piece right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna rip into a tiki. There's another arbutus tree there. So they got the beautiful red bark on them. And they have the uh, glossy green leaves to stay green year round and they do flower. They produce yellow or white flowers on them, sorry. So there's a, another arbutus tree. There's some really big ones on our property here. Big one hanging over the house with some eucalyptus trees in the foreground. So anyway, folks, that's how I finish off my tiki's with my Dremel after I've uh, carved them up with the chainsaw. <sighs> There's my Dremel there, and you can see the bit on it, right there. And that just grinds down anything. So it's a really handy little tool. And there's my Arbutus wood freaky tiki. Not quite finished it yet. I gotta put a little bit more finishing touches on it, and I will sell that one on Saturday when I go to town to sell my freaky tikis.